Yo, what's up, everybody, and welcome back to another Man 25 online game. Today, we had the Washington Redskins and the Denver Broncos, probably the headliner of Week 8 in the NFL because there aren't really big, big games. The primetime games aren't big, so this might be the biggest game. And look at this. The lights go out. What is this, Super Bowl 47 all over again? The sun just completely disappears, and my opponent is going to get a big run here on the optional RG3 to start the game. Well, on the second play, but this is really random. Like, I don't know what's happened to anybody, but as you saw, sunlight was there for, like, the first two plays. I don't know something with Denver Stadium. I set the time for 430, but I didn't expect this to happen. I hear the lights are, the sun's going to be there or not. That was kind of random, but we're just going to have to roll with the punches, I guess. Just some EA characteristics of the game. Might be realistic. I don't know how Denver weather is, but um, this is a sub game here, and this guy was pretty good. This guy, we actually played a few times in Man 13. We had some really, really close games, so I think he won one and I won one, and both of them came down to like the very last play. So we'll see what happens in this game. Here early on, he's working the optional RG3 and getting in the end zone, and um, it's really hard to stop the QB rap. Especially against someone like RG3 because they're so fast they could run away from you and then pick up a block and they're gone Like he got on his opening drive But I know the Washington defense is susceptible to basically any play that could possibly happen Except the flea flicker that was not really a good idea to start the game But thankfully Madden let me get away with it though What the hell is Wes Welker dying for a five-yard drag for? Calm down Wes it isn't a big deal Third down wasn't really a great read but I he um, hit me before I was able to get the ball there, so kind of got bailed out there, but I'll take it. I'll take the pass interference. I'll take the first down instead of having to punt the ball, because if I had to punt the ball there, that would have been pretty bad. As you see, Trent Holiday is gone for the game with broken ribs, so I won't have my main kick returner for this game, but um, I have Peyton Manning, and that's all good, except here when I throw the interception. I try to force it to the wheel route there. I probably should have just waited on that instead of throwing it hot like that, but I throw the interception here, and I'm just going to have to live with that, so I turn the ball over anyways. I still managed to turn the ball over there to Merriwater, and he gets the ball in great field position here, and... Hopefully, we can get a stop here. Hopefully, we can get a stop on RG3. He hands the ball to Alfred Morton. So far, we've stopped him twice. Third down, he has to come out passing, and Sean Phillips gets a nice block shed there and gets the sack, and we force him to take his three points here on a fourth down and goal at the 16-yard line, which he pretty much had to take. And now... I mean, I feel kind of bad for not doing a good job at the beginning of this game, but it could be worse than 10-0 the way we had. It could have been 14-0, so I'll just take that with some sort of pride and hopefully get the ball, get the ball moving here with Peyton Manning and this high-power offense. You just got to love playing with these Broncos in this game. They just got weapons everywhere. Thomas, Welker, the other Thomas, the tight end Thomas. And um, here I hit one of the Thomases, Demarius Thomas on the drag route, and he's not really giving, any, giving me anything deep, and he's sending pressure a lot, so I'm... Taking that into consideration, and um, I wanted to reroute RB, but RB went into the damn sidelines. But thankfully, I found Julius Thomas here for a big game. But Julius Thomas gets hit here and is going to be done for the rest of the game. So I've lost Trent Holiday and Julius Thomas. Holiday, I didn't really mind. Thomas, I kind of didn't mind because I wanted to play with him. And here you see it. I think that's Glenn Robinson. I don't know who the hell. But um, he got the cash in nonetheless. We'll take it. And look at Peyton Manning. Lob that pass in there. You see Manning do that quite a few times in actual NFL games. And there I did a nice lob pass there into the corner to the out route for Wes Welker. Trying to run the ball in with Ronnie Hillman, who is actually getting benched this week. I don't think he's even playing because he fumbled so much. And he fumbled at the, um, the end of that Denver game. But um, here we got him in the game. Hopefully he doesn't fumble. He didn't get in the goal line there. But third down and goal. We're going to try to quarterback sneak. You see Thomas is out. LOJ. We're not quarterback sneaking it. We're throwing it. He thought I was quarterback sneaking it. He tried to, you know, pinch the line there, but we did not. We ran play action, and that left at least two guys wide open there. And we got the touchdown. Look at Jordan Reed. Jordan Reed's having a pretty good year so far. He's a rookie, and he's stepped up. He's making Fred Davis expandable, and he's just, you know, he was looking like one of those breakout stars this year that might propel the Redskins to a potential playoff berth. And I honestly think the Redskins have a good chance of um, winning the um, NFC East. It's either going to be the Cowboys or the Redskins. I know the Redskins' record doesn't look good, and they're probably going to lose this game to the Broncos, but RG3 is looking better than he has at the early earlier parts of the season. So, I mean, you know, this season, um, um, this team didn't start good last year, and they ended up making the playoffs. They won, uh, like, seven over at the end of the season, so... We'll see what happens, man. We'll see what happens. Here, we force him to take the field goal here. Fourth down and five. Nothing really open there on third down. And he tried to throw something, but RG3 overthrew it. So, 
We'll take the stop there. I'm glad we're getting stops and forcing them to take field goals. That says something good about our defense. It's a bend, don't break defense, and I can live with that. And like I said, he's sending a lot of pressure in this game. So, I went to throw the screen pass here and get a big-time play with Ronnie Hillman. And Ronnie Hillman has no one ahead of him. Brandon Merriweather trying to catch him, but will not make the play. And Hillman, one play, hits the home run on the screen pass for a touchdown. And he's basically sending like dual-edge heat pretty much the entire game so i had to keep that in mind and he's doing that and playing zone for the most part so it was all about making the hot read and finding who was open in the zone i didn't do a good job of that in the first drive but after that first drive we've done a great job at adjusting and here rg3 once again that qb rep that is so powerful this year but he fumbles the ball trying to get extra yardage not really a big time tackle there there's been worse tackles that rg3 takes in this game, but, um, hell, I'll take it, man. He's running the ball, RG3 stamina is low, whatever. This game is kind of weird with all that stuff. And look at me, Peyton Manning on the read option. Yes, I'm going to make this dude respect Peyton Manning. Oh, I got to respect RG3. He's going to have to respect Peyton Manning and the option. Manning jokes about the option, but today we're going to make it a reality, man. We're going to make it a reality. And look at Ronnie Hillman. Uh, he had... There's at least two guys trying to wrap him up in the backfield there. We were able to make a nice cut and turn that into a first down. Next play. Oh, man. What a dot by Peyton. Josh Wilson came dive, Josh Wilson came diving in there. But Manning just put that pinpoint and was able to find Demarius Thomas in the middle of the field and get the first down. Next play. Um, I was trying to throw it to Hillman there. and I didn't even want him to catch it, but he caught it anyways. And we lost three yards. Next play. Do a little pass here to Hillman. Get some yards. Third down and six. Pretty conservative play call in here. In the end, we ended up taking a field goal. That's what happened happens when you're conservative i just i don't know i didn't want to take any big chances there especially if i made a wrong read with the blitz coming i'd probably been an interception or a fumble or god knows what so we take the field goal there we're up by four and um we're, we're gonna hold up to another field goal here for halftime that's kind of unlikely hope we just get a turnover or something here and second down and 12 that's what we get he tests rogers cromarty deep and, and there's one guy you don't want to go deep on in this game it's Dominic Rogers Cromartie, and he gets the interception, even though it's Pierre Garçon. Cromartie has the 98 speed, blazing speed, gets the interception there, and a turnover for us. And we're going to try to capitalize on this big time play there. And second down and 15, beautiful throw there by Manny. Manny is just throwing dots and left and right all over the field. Next play, we run the screen here. We ran the screen for nothing to um, play um, two plays before, but this time it ends up working out okay, but Thomas can't get out of bounds after my juke there, and we're forced to burn our first of three timeouts. Here we get Ronnie Hillman. I was trying to get a block there, so I took a big hit. Though we don't call a timeout, we call hurry up, and I'm basically playing for the field goal at this point. We hit Ronnie Hillman, and we are able to kind of get in field goal range for Matt Prater, who has a pretty big leg. But with seven seconds left, I'm going to try to get a few more yards, and I think I run the wide receiver screen here again and it doesn't really work out there when you run the wide receiver screen third times eventually your opponent will key into it as he did with a rack bow and we just run the ball at the end half time because Peyton Manning's thrown 16 passes in a row why jeopardize that streak that's a pretty good streak to have <laughs> I think it's 17 now too Manning has just been killing it since the one interception and here he actually throws an incompletion because of rack bow somehow gets that big time volleyball swap but next play Ronnie Hillman Burst through the first level and no one is there to meet him in the second level and Hillman is gone for the touchdown. I ran the option again with Manning, believe it or not there. But that time, um, I think Arakpo committed to Peyton Manning for whatever reason and I took advantage. Took one guy away from the play, got some good blocks, and Hillman hits the home run for the second time in this game. Gets an, I believe, 80-yard touchdown. And now we're up by 11. One defensive stop can pretty much end this game the way we're playing offensively. But this RT3 option, triple option, all just kind of BS, man. It is just so hard to stop in this game, especially with this guy. But fourth down and five, we got him contained right now. And we're looking at Garcon up field. But RG3, what a beautiful throw there. Nice find by him. And the throw hits him in stride. Garcon there. And he gets the first down. And he comes out running hard up here. Trying to run option, I think. Option out of five why freaking options are everywhere in this damn for me this playbook this guy has <laughs> you know but um it's our job to stop it and so far we're doing an okay job third down and eight comes up you know it's four down territory pretty much here he's probably not going for the field goal we're looking at the garçon route but he finds alfred morris he had him open the last play but archie three over through it next play he runs a nice quarterback draw here takes a knee because he knows he already fumbled it once and he definitely wasn't doesn't want to take another hit but rg3 takes a hit anyways and he doesn't even get the first down third down in inches though he's able to get the first down and the touchdown with alfred morris sean phillips was bursting through but he just couldn't find alfred morris and not only does he get the touchdown he gets a two-point conversion here to make it a field goal game so 
you know, good playing by him, and he gets himself back in this game with one defensive stop, he could suddenly just turn the tide all over me in this game. But we got Peyton Manning, the high-powered offense, so we feel okay. Here, this dude somehow just completely destroyed my offensive lineman. Second down, I was running the option, and I don't know if I could take it off of Manning or not, but as soon as I saw the flag, I just gave it to Hillman. I was going to get Manning hit on an offside penalty. I could just turn to a second down eight, which is what I did. Second down eight, all good, all good. And we're looking for somebody here. Pressure coming, so we throw it to Thomas, but the defender swats it away in tight coverage, bringing up a third down and eight here. And I, oh, man, I had Welker with the... The pressure hits me right as I was releasing the ball. I had Welker in the corner there. And now, like I said, he needed that one stop to turn the tide, and that's what he did. He turned the tide. And let me tell you, this is probably one of the most fun games I've played all year. Just because of the back and forth we had and all that, it was just really fun to play. Here he gets the Alfred Morris, and Alfred Morris gets the home run play of his own. Alfred Morris is known for doing the home run animation, the end zone, and he's going to get to do a big one here this time. Gets in there for a touchdown and grabs the lead. And this is a classic cookie boy game. Absolutely no momentum to be found in the game, and ooh hoo hoo Oh, that was that would have been costly. That would have been costly. I put Rogers Cromartie in there after Trent Hall they got injured, and it isn't looking too smart. But um, this is a classic Cookie Boy game where you know um, it's gonna come down to the end of the game. Whoever gets last possession, whatever. You guys know the drill. You've been watching my videos for long enough. Here, third down and seven. Big play here because we were absolutely stopped an offense but thankfully we find Ronnie Hillman he sends the pressure leaving Hillman wide open next play pressure comes again so I go back to the screen that worked before and it works again and Ronnie Hillman is killing it today don't bench this man John Fox because he's a beast jumps over somebody two to six yard line and next play Hillman gets in the end zone but he takes a Damn cheap shot after this game. After the, um, that touchdown there. Come on, yo. And ends up injuring him and he's out for the game. Come on, Madden. That was after the damn touchdown. And then after that, somehow Jordan Reed shakes people, dodges people, and gets all the way to the 15-yard line. Come on, man. I, I'm trying to make defensive stops out here. Trying to play the bend, don't break defense. Not that. And um, now we just really got to guard the end zone here. A field goal does tie the game, so that's definitely in play. But... We're going to make sure he doesn't get the um, end zone. Here, RG3 trying to try take off. Takes a hit there, but is able to hang on to the ball. Not get injured. Bring up third down and three. And he's able to get another home run with Alfred Morris. Not a home run play, but he can do the home run animation for scoring a touchdown there. Morris gets, like, what, a second or third touchdown in the game. And the high-scoring game continues here. The shootout continues in Denver. Just the way Denver likes it, right? I don't know if Peyton Manning likes it, but he's definitely capable of playing in these shootouts. And he's got the weapons, like Demarius Thomas. And he answered his drive. Now it's our turn to answer once again. How about Peyton Manning on the read option? Look at Peyton go downfield. The 20, the 15, almost to the 10. Peyton Manning with the wheels to the 13-yard line. Are you freaking kidding me, man? Look at the Mary's Thomas going airborne there. But Peyton Manning, you may never, probably will never see that again in your life, man. Never again will you see Peyton Manning get an option play like that against a pretty good opponent, too. And then two plays later, Moreno comes in the game and he does the job. He gets in the end zone there. Broken nice tackle when I try to hurdle too. And he's able to get the touchdown there. And now once again, his turn to um, answer back. First down, we completely shut down the option. Second down, he runs a nice quarterback um, draw here at RG3. Brings up third down and one after RG3 fights for extra yards. But this time he's going nowhere. Ayers gets the stop. Brings up fourth down. But Rex Grossman comes in the game for the quarterback sneak. He goes airborne, but he moves the chains. That's all he was brought in the game. Game for first down once again tries the option but it's four quarter time and we're gonna make sure that damn QB rap is not gonna be played second down nine he tries to get the run going but Cromartie uses his speed to beat the blocker and find Alfred Morris in the backfield third down a big stop coming up here as you see a lot of clock is gone we're heading to the two minute warning after this play but can he get the first down RG through rolling out the rowing but his throw on the run is inaccurate and now it's fourth down and nine he's got to go for this one down three can he get it he's running the screen and he's gonna get it gonna get it no he gets popped on four down pretty confusing play there i really had no idea what the hell he was doing after the play he told me he was trying to throw it to garcon but um the pressure from the screen didn't let him to um didn't allow him to throw it in time and that's the risk of actually running a screen that kind of play so oh i'll take it man i'll take the stop there huge stop for our defense in the game where defense was non-existent we got the stop and we're able to basically kill the clock despite that really shaky throw i made there that i definitely should have not made we're able to get a first down here at moreno he's out of timeouts i can't need a ball but since it's a sub i'm not really gonna need a ball but i'm definitely not gonna do anything stupid after that moreno throw especially 
So we're just gonna run an option or paint mid. That's not stupid at all, right? But um, nonetheless, we end up ending the game on this play. This is the last play, and it looks like he's probably gonna get in the end zone here. Then it looks like he might get stripped here, but thankfully none of those happen, and we just run the clock. We come out with the win. And it's all good, man. It's all good. We win the game. And once again, me and this dude, we play a close game. Shout out to him. He's a cool dude. And um, he played a great game. But we got the defensive stop in the end. And we won this shootout. So leave a like on this video. Because it was a pretty damn good game. Really exciting game. Subscribe for more Man 25 online games like this. Because I got a lot of other games like this. And I will catch you guys next time. I see Peyton Manning had a pretty beastly game.